Prince George wants to be like his dad with sweet new venture. Prince George wants to be like his dad with a sweet new venture, royal biographer Angela Levin has claimed. George, the 11-year-old heir to the British throne, has taken his first flying lesson at White Waltham Airfield near Maidenhead. His early start to flying follows the royal family's proud aviation tradition, with George following in the footsteps of his father, grandfather, and great-grandfather in the cockpit. Speaking about the prince's latest hobby, Levin said, he's had flying lessons, he wants to be like his dad. It's the sweetest thing. Hello viewers, please remember to subscribe and click on the notifications bell icon, so you will be notified whenever we upload new cookies about the British royal family. She added, Prince Philip started flying when he was 31. William and Harry didn't fly until they'd been in the military. Now, little George, I think they're doing something that's really wonderful for him, and it'll be really exciting. Levin also acknowledged the potential concerns over thrusting an 11-year-old heir in the air, stating, I'd be terrified if it was my son. It's very nice thing to do because they're similar and you can see that he loves him really hugely. Eyewitnesses at the airfield reported that Prince George thoroughly enjoyed his first flying experience. One onlooker told the son, he loved it. It's the right time to start. The royal family has a proud tradition of flying and it looks like George is next in line. Another source at the airfield observed, there were probably 30 or 40 people in the clubhouse. Catherine and William watched George take off. But they were relaxed about it. All three of them had been pretty chilled in the clubhouse. As the future king and eventual head of the armed forces, including the Royal Air Force, George's experience doubtless lays a foundation for his future roles. Cameron Walker, GB News Royal Correspondent, predicted yesterday that George and William could conduct engagements together in the future related to aviation. Prince George is 11. There isn't actually any particular age limit on learning to fly, but you can't log your flying hours until you turn 14 years old, and you can't do your test till you're 16, and you can't have a private pilot's license until you're 17. But that airfield was actually where Prince Philip, Duke of Edinburgh, Prince George's great-grandfather, learnt to fly way back in 1952. And of course, there is a long line of males within the royal family, who have learnt to fly. Cameron added, it's certainly something that Prince George appears to have a passion for. But of course, he's still very young indeed. Perhaps we will see him take off with his father or do some work with the RAF. In other news, Princess Kate's secret seaside treat for Prince George, Princess Charlotte, and Prince Louis. We get so used to seeing the royal family during their working engagements that it's hard to believe that away from the royal spotlight, they like to let their hair down and enjoy simple pastimes, just like us. Earlier this month, the Prince and Princess of Wales were seen arriving at King Charles' royal residence in the Scottish Highlands with their children. Historically, the royals retire to Balmoral for the final weeks of the summer holidays to switch off, reconnect with nature, and relax before royal duties resume in September. Before they flocked to Scotland, the Wales family soaked up some seaside air at Anmer Hall, their coastal Norfolk home. It's here that onlookers have said they've seen Kate with Prince George, 11, Princess Charlotte, 9, and Prince Louis, 6, tucking into fish and chips from a local beachside vendor. A holiday homeowner in Norfolk spoke to UK holiday provider, Park Dean Resorts, and revealed they had seen Kate and the children visiting Eric's Fish and Chip Shop in Thornham, Norfolk. They said, I was amazed when I arrived at Eric's in Thornham and spotted Kate, and the kids. We've been regulars at Eric's for a while, so it's fantastic to see the word spreading about how great it is. It is now officially fit for a royal. The Princess of Wales isn't the only royal in the family to indulge in fish and chips from time to time. Queen Camilla previously revealed the popular British takeaway is one of her favourite foods. Freshly cooked fish and chips, 
wrapped in paper. That smell. You cannot beat proper fish and chips, she told you magazine. According to the Sun, her late Majesty Queen Elizabeth II was also rather partial to fish and chips and sometimes treated herself to dinner from the local chippy when staying at Balmoral. A footman was reportedly sent to pick up her meal from nearby town Balata. It's no secret that the royal family are sometimes partial to fast food prepared outside of the royal kitchens. Former royal chef Darren, McGrady previously spoke of his horror when the late Princess Diana told him she was taking Prince William and Prince Harry to McDonald's. I remember the princess came into the kitchen one day and said, cancel lunch for the boys I'm taking them out, we're going to McDonald's, Darren told Marie Claire. And I said, oh my god your royal highness, I can do that, I can do burgers. Explained Darren. It wasn't just the burgers the princes had their eyes on though, as Darren recalled the late princess mused, it's the toy they want, referring to McDonald's famous Happy Meal treats. When former royal chef Darren McGrady worked in the royal kitchens for her late majesty Queen Elizabeth II, he was in charge of imagining up delicious, nutritious menus for the monarch and her family. The culinary star, who was also a private chef for Princess Diana, Prince Harry and Prince William for over a decade, has shared the indulgent sweet treat he often whipped up for the family during their summers at Balmoral in the Scottish Highlands. Royal fans spot Kate Middleton and Princess Charlotte's subtle battle in clip. The royals are steeped in tradition, adhering to strict protocols concerning their dress, public demeanor, and even how they travel. Prince William and Kate Middleton are known for running a disciplined household, especially with their three little ones, 11-year-old Prince George, 9-year-old Princess Charlotte, and 6-year-old Prince Louis. Lately, eagle-eyed royal followers have picked up on what seems like a tiny squabble between Kate and Princess Charlotte about how the young royal should wear her hair. A seemingly less impressed Kate Middleton reacts to Prince William's latest decision for the family. At the recent Trooping the Color last month, adoring fans got a chance to see Kate and her brood after her brave battle with cancer. Fans are relating hard to Princess Charlotte's hair struggles in a recent video, with one saying, this is literally me all the time and my mom just puts it back. Another added, same Charlotte. It shapes my face. And a third shared, my mom says it's cause she wants to see more of my beautiful face. The debate is on whether this is a royal rule or just a typical mum thing. One commenter noted, let's be honest. Mothers do this regardless of being royal or not. They prefer it a certain way, they gonna make you do it. Despite having help from a nanny, Kate and William are hands-on parents, enjoying down-to-earth family activities like cycling and baking with their kids. Thanks for watching. Please don't forget to like this video and drop comments, and most importantly don't forget to subscribe and hit the notification bell so you don't miss anything.